getting an EMBA today for professionals is uh, uh, not a choice they have to make. This is not an option uh, because the environment is so competitive. Uh, they will compete with young graduates, freshly graduating from business schools with uh, new methods, with new concepts, and they have to cope up with this. So they have to upgrade their knowledge, they have to empower their skills in order to cope with them. In the past, usually the EMBA uh, was considered to be a way how to climb the ladder in a given organization or even to switch the job from one place to the other. But today, even to stay relevant, you must cope up with the new concept of the new techniques and the very existence uh, that uh, Facebook is there, that social media are here, are something that the executives have to cope with, meaning that they must know how to master their social media, how to master new concepts in human resources management, how to manage new elements in finance or in the economy. So for all these elements, in fact, the executive MBA today is the way how to stay relevant in the industry. Uh, from this kind of program, we have two beneficiaries. On one side, we have the companies. On the other side, we have the professionals. The companies used to benefit most in the past because they were deciding about the programs they will send the executives to. They were deciding also sometimes about the curriculum, if it was a customized executive MBA program. And in that sense, they were also paying for the program and they take care of everything. They are choosing the program that is best fitting with their own orientation. For instance, if it was a finance company, they will look for the program with the best finance curriculum. Now, the situation is completely different because the majority of candidates come from individual approach. So in that case, it is not the company sending them. The individuals are choosing by themselves the program. So the curriculum was designed according to the market surveys, primarily, that we made here in the region, in Asia Pacific. The market survey is uh, focusing on companies, but also on some individuals. So in that case, we are also asking alumni in order to participate. Of course, we also ask some faculty members in order to help us, in order to design the curriculum. So, in a nutshell, the curriculum is a result of a complex uh, alchemy, bringing market survey experience, uh, talks with individuals and faculty members. Here in Asia, we are developing a curriculum, we are developing a content which does not exist in other programs. Choosing a, a SEC for the executive MBA is a choice which could be considered to be a wise one. Uh, the reason for that is that a SEC business school is an experience school. We celebrated 100 years of existence. On the other side, we are running an executive MBA in France for more than 20 years. So in that case, we can also capitalize on this kind of experience. So in order to benefit most from an executive MBA, I would suggest all candidates to be extremely careful to the curriculum, to be extremely careful to the uh, value added of the program for their own career. And in that case, the best benefit is coming from the best preparation for the program.